All right, guys, what is up? This is Crow1176. How's everybody doing today? All right, so this is part three, okay? Uh, I decided to paint the backside of this sample sheet. It's a pretty big sample sheet, and um, I want to go a little bit bigger. Uh, once I find something smooth enough and at least 75 inches or something like that, just to promote it a little bit more. But for now, I went a little bit darker. I went actually two uh, shades higher. And as you can see here, my 89 Michael Keaton Batman from Funko Pops. Look look at the black on his costume, on his cowl, and look at the back background, which is gonna be the screen, all right? So yeah, same process, guys. Uh, I didn't wanna make like this super long video. I just wanted to show you the results. Uh, because you could just add black again uh, two to four ounces of black I will go with two ounces and then one more ounce and 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 go step by step like that to see where you like it but let me show you the results just wanted to compare uh, you know the black that uh, Batman's using here to the surface in the background and you can see it is really dark it is a black shade all right it's not gray <laughs> just to be clear okay so let's take a look at the results and tell me what you think i do have all my windows open you can see all kinds of stuff in the background all right i do have all of them and i have it right here i was gonna do it where i was gonna put it over there but you know what i want the light to actually be closer and as you can see, it's pretty bright. Okay. All right. Let's check it out. All right, guys. So we started off with these. Um, what? What is this demo right here? It is uh, HDR Fruit Strong Colors. Yes. With a kind of a darker background in the back. Um. The projector that I'm using, let me lower it down, is the Epson 3200 lumen projector, okay, uh, kind of a uh, office venue projector, you can use it for venue if you like, stack them up, whatever you want to do, but yes, uh, it is a pretty bright projector, and again, you need high lumens to make this work, but as you can see here guys, it's working great, <laughs> that, I mean, for outside use, I think it is good. It's another option, so easy. Then it take me 20 minutes. Just takes less than 10, less than five minutes. If you already have the other mix, it's as long as you're gonna take. But you see the color separation. Yes, it. it, it to me, it's muddy. To me, it's kind of like, you know, I like my colors to be a little bit more vibrant, more, more brighter. But this is for those people that want a black paint mix and this is the option not to spend 300 400 dollars that's the main thing for you guys not to spend 330 400 on something that it is just house paint and i am showing you right here that whatever's coming out from crystal edge black series edition llc whatever he wants to call his company nowadays it is just black paint with silver ppg i just showed you and he gave us he gave us his secrets right there it's nothing special he might add a little bit of acetone i don't know why <laughs> uh but as you can see really simple three ingredients which i mean was water that ppg that he showed us in his own video he showed us how to make it and uh you know start with a base with a, a dark gunmetal and add black to it and till it becomes this so yeah it's that simple see and i get it i know it is a small um sample again i will be making a bigger uh screen uh just to demonstrate okay but so far i think i'm gonna stick with this tone i think i'm not gonna go any further higher up or any further up with it because um 
I just don't want it to look really bad. But let's check out the whites, okay? I haven't tested that out yet. All right, here we go. Let me just back out of this. 4K white snow. Getting that from you. Let me see. There it is. That's the famous wolf scene, right? Okay. But let me go back again. Let me go back and show you that famous wolf scene. Yes, where he's playing in the snow. There you go. And let me show you really quick, all right? My settings. Everything's at zero. I have it at theater mode. I don't even have it dynamic. Dynamic is really bright. Here, I'll show you really fast. Um, let me see here. Press that. So you got presentation, RGB, blackboard, and dynamic. See how the dynamic is just brighter? Yeah, exactly. All right, and I'm showing you here theater. And theater is even a lower, uh, you know, because I haven't messed around with the settings, with the brightness or anything like that, right? But uh, if you want to pick up, like, say you want theater mode and you want to pick up the brightness a little bit, just I'll give it like a uh, two, maybe one, two, three. Uh, return and then give a contrast like a four one two three four right there and I mean you can mess around with the sharpness you can mess around with the other stuff temperature color temperature let me see that's too low I could go with like this maybe like that I could go minus right so it'll be warm right um, iris speed is high and all that stuff but you can mess around with it and as you can see here we could actually tell it's <laughs> uh, the colors are separating pretty well it's not looking you know blue and all kinds of different colors it, it's actually working out pretty well um, let's do this one okay there you go not that bad all right guys thank you for watching just wanted to update you and i will be updating you with a bigger size screen uh and and stuff like that so stay tuned for that but yeah i went to two shades higher this time i i actually like this so what i'm gonna do for you guys is i'm gonna get a color match of this and you guys could add the PPG to this and be done with it. So I'm going to help you out with that. Also, I'm waiting for the Noir uh, si uh, uh, Silent Wake 5 mix. Do it yourself. I'm, I'm going to use that too and give you more options in the future where you, know, you have all these options and you can save hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Okay? Um, it's nothing bad with me sharing with you guys. All right? So, there you go. Thank you for watching, guys. You guys have a wonderful day. This is Crow, and I'm out of here. Peace. Oh, also, send me pictures. I would like to share the pictures on my channel, please. Uh, whoever's doing this and whoever took the time to do this, send me some of your pictures to Crow1176 at Gmail. All right? Thank you so much, man. I'll see you guys later. Bye.